Hey, welcome to Ecology X, the open educational resource for industrial ecology. Meet our channel founder, Dr. Farah Ayuni Binti Shafi, a senior lecturer for Center of Environmental Health and Safety in UITM Puncha Alam, Selangor, Malaysia. Dr. Farah aims to develop a learning platform to help environmental health and safety students. It turns out this channel can be a better way to learn industrial ecology more effectively and efficiently, not only for students, but also open for educators and the public. Ecology Act serves as an easy access to deliver more information, improve understanding, strengthen our memory, as well as enhance our multitasking ability. Not to mention, we initiate this channel to provide and expose the viewers how the network of industrial ecology runs in our daily life. Through these enjoyable, colorful, and knowledgeable videos. But have you ever wondered what industrial ecology is before? To begin with, industrial ecology is a field of research that aims to comprehend the circulation of materials and energy flows. Simply put, industrial ecology teaches us how the industrial ecosystem works, regulated, and interact with the biosphere. In order to understand how the industrial ecosystem reform to function similarly to the natural ecosystem. Let's see how the industrial ecology was developed before the 1750s, lack of industrial practices led to local disruption and shortages. After that, the Industrial Revolution began when several technological innovations were created. The purpose is to reduce the environmental impact of industry by examining material and energy flows in products, process, industrial sectors, and economics. Then. Output of all kinds of material and fuels can be reduced, whether they leave a site as products, emissions, or waste. Industrial ecology seeks to form harmonized relations between ecological and human systems which will provide sustainable benefits of all aspects of sustainability, including social, environmental, and economics. Industrial ecology approach involves the application of science systems to industrial systems, defining the system boundary to incorporate the natural world, and seeking to optimize the system. Industrial ecology results in using fewer natural resources in manufacturing industries. Then, the industries will generate less unwanted waste to the environment. In return, atmospheric emissions and water pollution can be decreased. The concept of industrial ecology involves dual perspective, which are product competitiveness and environmental interactions. It is the study of material and energy flows and their transformation into products, byproducts, and waste throughout industrial system. It is then released to the air, water, land, and biota. Industrial ecology approaches sustainability by taking a system approach and a long-term view. By looking at the whole system, industrial ecology rejects the concept of waste like biology does. Best example is Kalenberg Eco Industrial Park, which is located in Kalenberg, Denmark. Each company collaborates to use each other's byproducts and share resources. In general, a residue from one company becomes a resource in another. The cooperation between the companies provides mutual benefits, economical as well as environmental. Overall, industrial ecology is widely involved in energy and resource consumption, air and water pollutants, as well as solid waste generation associated with human activities. 
it is right to believe that by approaching industrial ecology in various aspects, the industrial system can be more efficient and sustainable in the future. So, with Ecology X, we are going to explore more on material flow analysis, life cycle assessment, eco-labeling, and many more in a fun yet educational way. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to Ecology X for more.